Hey guys, welcome back to Farming Simulator 2013 Multiplayer with me, Brad M73, and Thomas Sweden. How you doing, Thomas? Good, 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 good. Good, good, Today good. Today we will uh, go, and go and make some bales. Yeah, we're, we uh, took some of the money that um, we got. Uh, actually, let me turn my HUD back on. Uh, we've got 90113 uh, We do need to buy the bale trailer. But um, we went and got a wind rower, and we also got a baler. So we're going to get started on those. And I think, Thomas, you are going to go and sell some yeah. things. Um, I'm going yeah. to tab over to the farm really quick. And maybe you can... Okay, you're going to take that tractor. I think we're going to sell it. this little green trailer here. And we also have, like, a and cutter then. for... Uh, Corn. For corn, yeah, and the silage. So Thomas is going to go and sell that stuff really quick. I take yeah, the there's the color. Pick, I must take the bale pick it up for trailer. Yeah, we need to buy. We need to sell those too, and then uh, so take those over and sell those, so we get the most most for our money. And what yeah. I'll do is I will start wind rowing our crop rows. So I'm going to get on to windrowing here. Brad, and I think our rooster is living dangerously here on the farm. <laughs> he keeps running around in the middle of uh, middle of traffic, huh? No, one day he's going to end up uh, he's going to end up getting hit. I'm a little bit laggy today, and it's nothing to do with your server. It's probably because I'm downloading the update to Star Trek Online. It, that's the old game. Yeah. You know what I should have done? I should have actually stopped. I should have stopped uh, downloading that. I tell you what, I'm going to pause the video really quick. I'm going to stop, I'm going to cancel the download, and then I'll be right back. And then I should okay. be lag free, so I'll be right back. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. And I hopefully will be nice and smooth from now on. It will help that, though. Yeah, that, that kind of sounded a little bit creepy, but we'll, we'll carry on. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm like, I'm at the maximum width of the windrower right now, so <clears throat> trying to make some good rows here. Oh, it's not wide enough. And the beacon view. Yeah. Beacon view. Yeah. Ah, what am I Time doing? Oh, you have to turn the be the beacon on, huh? Yeah. Oh, come on. Get that last row. There we go. <sighs> so you will begin playing the whole game now? Um, I don't know. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how it's how it is. Um, Cause it's gone free to play, and you know, usually games get ruined when they go to free to play. Um, I was uh, I used to play Lord of the Rings Online a lot, and then it went free to play, and it kind of killed that game too. So, um, not really huge fans of games that that uh, go free to play. Um, you know, with with Lord of the Rings Online, I was like one of the original founding members, and so I I paid like the two hundred or yeah, I think it was like two hundred dollars to get basically everything for the lifetime of the game. And the only thing I would ever have to pay for are, are basically the expansion packs. And um, you know, when when the game went free to play, it really didn't give the 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 founding members who paid that money anything real to 
um, you know, to, they didn't really give us a, a very big incentive to keep on going with the game, so I, I really lost interest after that, unfortunately. Yeah. <clears throat> and the other thing, but, too, is they, they didn't re release any major expansions uh, except for, like, once a year, and so it just, it kind of became, you know, like any of those MMO RPGs are, they just kind of become, uh, oh gosh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just a, like a big grind, basically, you know, yeah. you're just grinding experience all the time, and um, running your raids and doing that kind of stuff, and it's just not... It loses the the appeal of being fun and I don't know I don't know how else to describe it. It just it just majorly lost appeal with me. So anyway, some of the guys on uh, whoa big lag spike there probably the server buying, saving. No, I was buying. Uh, oh, you were buying stuff, so you're causing all the lag then. Yeah. <laughs> but what is? It? Oh, it's over there. I totally oh, forgot what I was going to say. Oh, no, I, I some of the guys in um, the Stocko Gloss team speak, and there's our shout out to Stocko Gloss. Uh, some of the guys have uh, uh, decided to start playing Star Trek Online again, and I thought, eh, I'll see if I can get my account going. And it's been a huge pain, but it looks like I just did get an email from the, what is it? Perfect World or something like that. It's the company that that runs Star Trek Online now. Um, anyway, they sent me an email saying that they have linked my accounts and hopefully um, that will resolve the issues that I was having over the weekend. I just wish it could have been resolved more quickly. So anyway, I'll download the patch and you know give it a try and. Um, but Star Trek Online was always one of those games where you can kind of just like jump into it and just play it for an hour, and where you know a lot of other MMOs are gigantic black holes of time. I know, I know, Lord of the Rings Online definitely was, um, and I I don't really want to get into a game that's like that again. Um, you know, it's. You know, if you can sit down and play a game for an hour, or you know, maybe maybe two hours or something like that, that's you know, I don't really foresee myself spending you know six or seven hours or eight hours raiding a dungeon, uh, you know, on a weekend. Um, I know, I know, our our uh, guild back in. Uh, Lord of the Rings, you know, we used to do the like our weekend raids, and we would go into Dol Guldur, or we would go into I can't think of the other raids that we would do, but I mean they would take easily four to six hours to to go through a whole dungeon, and uh, I'm not really looking to get into that kind of raiding again. <laughs> yeah, you have so many other places the games to play now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that too. Hey, I will hunt you down, old Brad. You're hunting me down? Yeah, with Bailey. What did I do? Oh, yes. Oh, it's in the front. I want to win. <laughs> Get over there. Get in the middle. Get in the center. There we go. Okay. I think the best game of it, I, I always like it is the Hitman games. That's, that's yeah, they're the pretty game. good. Yeah, and the last one is so wonderful. I only played the first two. Um, I never did play the third one. Um, I was just pre-ordered just when I know it's coming out and then get some special weapons with the silver guns. Uh, yeah, that was so is the thir uh, the third one is out or? Yeah, yeah, it's long, long. Oh yeah, I was gonna, 
Yeah, I was going to say, I thought it came out a while ago. But... Yeah. But I have not um, bought the stamina to wait for the, to kill them, so I kill them all. Yeah. <laughs> Massive killing. <laughs> I have this... I well, have I would... The, in, you know, one of the cool things about that game was, yeah, like you said, you you were really only supposed to kill, like, your target. Yeah. Or you could choose to, like, just kill everybody. And I would always try to only kill the target, but usually, yeah. I mean, I, some of those missions, I just don't even know how they I, expect I you not to kill everybody. But do you remember that game when you were in the theater? Theater? And you will kill that man on this on the stage. Uh, not the really. Two brothers. It was the brother crows or something they call. I think. So that was a very good mission because you could um, plant the bomb up uh, on, in the light um, on the roof, so the the chandelier was falling down in the theater, and when mm -hmm. that fall, you sniper the the two of them. At the same, exactly the right time, and then they never heard you that they have shoot them. Oh. Or huh. you can you can change the top weapon uh, because it was theater. Yeah, what is it? Yeah, the theater. Mm -hmm. Yeah, theater. So you can just go to Smith to his room and change it to a real gun. So when the, his uh, friend with uh, point the gun at him, then the friend is shooting him. Yeah, yeah. I kind of vaguely remember that, but oh, it's been a long, long time since I played that game. Um, but it's a very good game because you can do so much with it. And now, for the new game, you can uh, put it online, so you can put uh, a hit on your friends. Oh and no! It's you, yeah, with you and me in the same game, I can call. Uh, for, for, point the bounty on you <laughs> and everyone will hunt you. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, that's yeah. so fun, but it's very funny. Oh yeah, for your friends. Yeah, <laughs> but, but if, if you have a very good gun and, or uh, M16 or something, you can you will um, die with the hand on the trigger. <laughs> hmm. It will take someone with you. <laughs> it means a spot. Yeah. Okay, well, sorry about that. Oh, let's see here. Let's get back to whatever it was back, I was doing. <laughs> back to the reality. <laughs> Sounds like somebody's messaging me on Facebook. Yeah, Brad, I was thinking, uh, we will uh, make a shout out to all our friends at uh, Facebook, Andy, uh, Chris. Uh, Andy, uh, Chris, and Robert, and Nicholas, and everybody. Hello. Nick, this Nick, is your shout Nick. out. Yeah, Nick, Nick, yeah. and Nicholas, and. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, Nick, and uh, Nick Holland. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, uh, Holland, Nick, uh, I know he wants to. He wants to. Uh, try to join us sometime, so I told him, yeah, yeah that would be great to get him yeah. on, on board as a special guest for an episode or two, yeah. um, kind of show him what the dedicated server's like. Well, I think it's going very good. Yeah, I think so. I mean, for the most part, it's really exceeded my expectations as far as, you know, how smooth it's been and stable. I mean, we haven't had any you know, major crashes. I mean, even considering all the bugs we've had to work out, you work yeah. out. Um, uh, uh, and and if we, if we have a, a server at home. It's yeah, yeah, the, you're it's you're not the pro server. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, everybody who's watching, um, who you know, is curious about the dedicated server. Um, Thomas is actually running the server at home on his home on a home computer it's actually My a several one. yeah an old one <laughs> yeah. so it, it doesn't have to be like a supercomputer or, or anything um, the only thing you did have to do right is just you had to you had to spend what thirty dollars on the dedicated server software 
that. Right, and then you had to, and then you had to spend another thirty dollars to get another account, like another game. Yeah, you had, you actually had to buy like another game account, which that's the only thing I don't like about yeah, but, it. But that's just the yeah. way they ended up uh, doing it. So I don't know but why. I, but I think if you buy the the dedicated server, I think you get one copy of it. The price to say when you, if you buy a real. I didn't think you did because did you? I have did you to, have, I have did you have to. to buy? So you basically bought, you basically have purchased two full Long games. Yeah. Plus so you purchased the, plus you purchased the dedicated service. server. Yeah. Yeah. But this is just the one one time pay. I will have it. How long I want. I don't pay any charges for the company for the server or something. And I can have how many shots I want. Up to 25, I think, or something. Just the yeah. computer is uh, open with it. Hmm. But, but uh, and they have uh, released two updates already. So uh, I think it's uh, here for to stay. And I will say that I will I will someday uh, take the, the old computer and uh, clean it out from the beginning because I have uh, many old games and stuff on it just mm -hmm. now. So if I take them away and just put in farming simulator and the mods and the it is his server, it's, 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 it's faster I think. Well, I mean I don't, I don't know I don't know of any speed related issues right now. Nope. I mean, I can't think of anything that we've had unless it was, you know, me downloading, <laughs> downloading yeah. updates to other other things. Um, we, we have tried to record from your home. That's what you uh, have it a bit faster internet there, I think. Oh yeah, your yeah. your internet is ridiculously fast. Yeah. I, I, I'm I, I'm I, je I'm definitely jealous. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, I have 250 megabytes up and 250 megabytes down. Yeah, that's just... <laughs> Why can't I have that? But the, the funniest thing is, it was ringing me from the provider of my internet. Uh -huh. said, oh, we see that you have uh, many uh, things connected to your internet. You want uh, 1000 megabits uh, third line? Yeah. It's... 1000, you see? Oh, it's so much. Yeah, it's like that's a little bit overkill. I mean, yeah. But, but it's what oh, I said. Oh, it's one thousand one um, up, and uh, was it? Uh, I think it was uh, six hundred, seven hundred <laughs> down or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or or it <they> was <laughs> really really quick. Yeah, I mean, but when you get when you're getting up to those speeds, I mean, you're literally. You know, you're talking about like almost, you know, land network speed. Yeah. You know, it's. I mean, that's just absolutely ridiculously fast. Yeah. But uh, but uh, that the good in Sweden that we have the the government was ten years ago was saying that all Swedes will have internet mm -hmm. in all of Sweden. That was that was their promise. You can be in the mountains and you can be. Yeah, wherever you are, you will have internet. Hmm. So they, they was, I mean, I mean, not 10 years, maybe 20 years ago. But the, they, the, the government say, come on now, companies, make it so. And they, I think the most part of them have done that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it. Yeah. So, uh, oh. is it 250 is the right... I don't need more. And and the, and the, on my playing computer, I was uh, when I buy it, it was twelve RAM in it. Uh huh. And, uh, and uh, I think, oh, that's too small. So I <laughs> I changed it to two twelves. Uh, it was two sixes RAMs, and I put it to two twelves. So I have twenty four RAM in the computer. Mm -hmm. So so I think that this computer will. Uh, Take every game, and not every game, but most of the games I have. Yeah. Well, you know, the thing, too, about 
you know, internet speeds is, it's like, how fast do you really need to download something? You know, like, if you're, if you're downloading a song from iTunes or, you know, wherever, Amazon or whatever, you know, it's, you know, piece of music's only going to take, you know, 30 seconds to download yeah. anyway. I mean, if you get, you know, even on, like, mobile phones, you yeah, know, they're getting up to 20, 30, 40 megabits per second. And it's like, you know, do you really need to download something that quickly on your phone? Especially, like, here in the United States, too, our, our data is capped. <clears throat> so, you know, if we, if we, you know, you've got, like, a, a, oh, I'm trying to think. I think Verizon's iPhone, like, in certain areas can get, like, 20 or 30 or 40 megabits per second of, yeah. of download speed. But then they, they cap you and they say, well, you only get 5 gigabytes a month. To, to use, yeah. and then they charge you a hundred bucks for it. Yeah. It's like, well, you know, are you even going to come close to using that? I mean, <clears throat> you know, I went, I went from in a couple years, about a year and a half ago, I flew or I drove out to Washington D.C. Uh, when they brought the space shuttle into uh, the Smithsonian Museum. Actually, my uh, uh, my uh, avatar on YouTube, as of this recording, at least is um, a, it's like a picture it's like a black and white picture of a space shuttle on the back of the 747 and so on my iPad I actually you know ordered the a data package for a, for one month for my iPad so that I could get um, you know driving directions on my iPad as I was driving out there and so I mean I literally had my my iPad plugged in you know running Google Maps and running whatever else you know, all kinds of stuff, and I, I didn't even come anywhere. I don't even think I used a gig of data in yeah, the in the week that I was gone. I think you, you use the most when you uh, look at the TV programs. And stuff. Well, you, you probably like use the most, um, you know, watching videos, like doing things yeah. like Netflix and stuff like that. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I I guess I, I mean I get that, but still, you don't need 250 megabits per second to stream, oh. you know, whatever your favorite show is in high def. But um, I you only need about I mean, 10 megab megabits per second to do that. Yeah, but I think if because at, the, at the, my house we have everything connected to the internet here. We have the PlayStation. We have the the TV, the, par the parabol is also with the internet, and, mm -hmm. and all we have uh, two uh, iPads. We have <laughs> my computer, my laptop. Uh, uh, my wife's uh, have the laptop too. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so we well, yeah, but you know, I do too, and you know, like sometimes I'm up. Now, now here's here's the thing. Like, let's say you have multiple devices. Yeah. Like, you know, hooked up. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you know, I know what my download speed is like, uh, you know, 10 megabits per second. So let's say we doubled our download speed. Um, yeah. I think that having, you know, 20 megabits per second would be, you know, a very, very pleasing experience, you know, yeah. from my, my point of view. And and then let's say you also doubled your upload speed, which would be awesome for me because my upload speed frankly is awful and it takes a long time to upload videos and so um, you know I think if companies worried more about you know not so much about download speed but the overall experience uh oh hey he's a cold <laughs> um, you know if they if they worried more about the overall experience of your broadband connectivity yeah. I think it would kind of change the way you know, broadband is sold at least here in the United States, and right now it's it's really terrible. It, I mean, it really, really is bad. At least in at least in our area, and I think it it needs to be improved upon dramatically. But is it the big competition between the companies? No, well, or, here that's the that's the other problem too. Is in Cincinnati, you basically have one tel telephone company, which is Cincinnati Bell. And, um, you know, they, they used to be really good. They used to have pretty much the fastest uh, broadband service in the area. 
Um, you know, aside from that, really all you can get is Time Warner, Time Warner Cable, which is a cable TV company. And, you know, their upload and download speeds are about the same, but their service, I feel, is a lot worse. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, you either get slightly better service um, or you get slightly faster service, but with worse, cust- you know, worse customer service, I guess. Yeah. So it's like, uh... Oui. That was a lag. <laughs> oh, I didn't even okay. notice that I was holding down my uh, wind rower here. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. Yeah, they're supposed they're supposed to be installing fiber optics in my neighborhood, um, but they they keep saying three months, three more months, three more months, three more months, and that's what they've been saying for the last two years. So. Um, I don't know when that's really going to happen, though I have been seeing a lot of uh, trucks in the area, um, supposedly, um, you know, installing installing fiber optics, yeah. All right, so we're almost done with this field. I was to tell you a funny story. There was was, uh, many, not many years ago, 10, 15 years ago, I was working for the road company that we dig the holes and stuff in mm-hmm. the road. And then, and every time we was uh, digging somewhere, we was calling the power, power play, uh, firm to say, oh, hi, we will dig the, on this street. Where are your ca- cables? Yeah, yeah. And they, and they come out the market with uh, some color or something. And, uh, Five meters, we have this cable and for water or electricity or uh-huh, uh-huh. something. Oh, so we called um, all the stuff, uh, not me, but my boss. Said, uh, uh, we can dig now? Yeah, 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 no problem. And my friend uh, uh, have uh, have the digger. He was begin digging. Oops. And <laughs> if the, uh, was it two or three hours, he said, oops. Uh-oh. Oh, oops. What have you dig? Uh, that, um, the town I was living in, Umeå, mm-hmm. had a big, big, big cable with fiber. It's, uh, I think, around 60 centimeters in diameter. It's yeah, a, yeah. It's a very big cable to dig it off. Oh, no. Because the, the company have not remembered to uh, mark it out. Oh, no. Yeah, and fiber but, optics is ridiculously expensive. Yeah, so it took them, I think, one month to fix it. Yeah. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me at all. No. Yeah. So that, so that was not funny. Oh, no. That's awful. Okay, now we have built all this. So, I think Oh no! Now you have to go and get the bale picker upper. Yeah, but maybe we can do that next time. Do you really want to? <laughs> want that? Well, go go out and start picking them up. Um, I'm just gonna I'm trying to like situate some of the stuff back in here. I'm gonna you know, uh, come out and check on you. Yeah. Well, or I can do, do it. I don't know. <laughs> I I will. I must just take a little, I have 50% of one bale and maybe I can take a little bit more that I missed. Oh, okay. Oh, here's the... Well, I'll tell you what, I'll get you started on baling. How's that? Yeah. I think, I think you want to drive that thing. Sure. <laughs> oh man, there's like bales all over the place. Oh, there's three here. Well, we'll pick up a load. Maybe we'll pick up a load and then I'll let you finish it off. It will be it's kind of hard to find. Yeah, the, 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 the feature of them is just uh, dropping off or something. It must be very near them. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's an issue with uh, the way this map is, like if it's a draw distance thing, or I don't know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. 
Okay, I will shut out. Mm. It's almost half full. Or half empty if you're a pessimist. <laughs> yeah. You like it like a house. It was burning up and it was burning down. Yeah. I think I think there's no there's no optimistic way to say your house is burning up or down. No. <laughs> but then, like you said, is the is the the water glass is half full or half empty? Exactly. Oh, we have some new machinery at the our farm today. Yep, we got a baler and a wind rower and a bale picker upper thingy be bobber or whatever this thing is. <laughs> <clears throat> now we'll have to come back and um let's see, is that the last one? I, th I think I have Take them all up. Yep. Oh. It's filled. Um yeah, there's still some more we out here, especially up here by the barn. Um, where should I put all the bales? By the cows. Why well, no? But um, I'm trying to th think of a good place to. So that step means we get the mixing. Oh man. Well, I'm not putting it near this like sewage thing. That's nope. We need to drop down. Ah. Where is, the, where is the feeding table then? The what? For the cows to eat. Oh, here it is. Put it on this. Put it where? Are you back? No, oh, it's a fence there. <laughs> I don't see that. I think there was no fence here. Put it here. No. Put it here. I'm thinking that. I'm thinking maybe out here, because here, like if you come out here, yeah, but you can't yeah. because the milk, uh, milk uh, trail uh, door will go there. Over okay. here? Yeah. No, this no, one. no. I think no, right oh. over here. Yeah, that's a good place. I mean, we'll have to drive the. We'll have to drive the, um... And did we... Is this a silo, this, or something? No, is we it don't green here? Something here. I, don't I think it's it just is. kind of like a big parking lot. Yeah. We put Whoop. it there. Um, so... So you still have the difficulty on hard, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, it's not it's not too bad, especially with these bigger fields. Um, especially once we get a few canola harvests um, under our belt, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be raking the money in. Yeah, and then we get the big uh, seeders, uh, the big uh, combines, mm -hmm. <laughs> the, the 780 or the 770. That's not the problem. Oh, we got to get the 780. Yeah. You can have your good beacon. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, I better go this way. Alright, so I will pull this up here, and then I'll let you kind of... I'll, I'll let you go back out and pick up the rest of the bales. And um, I guess in the next episode, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually run out. I'm going to plant this big, huge field back here in canola. And then maybe in our next episode we'll start uh, to harvest all of that, and um, and then earn we'll earn some money. Yeah, and earn some because man, this this field is huge. I mean, we've worked, we've earned like, you know, like say, almost a quarter maybe, of a million dollars just off this one field. I was I seen in the server log we have been online three hours and forty minutes. Yeah. Not you know not not um, not all the time but yeah yeah whoa <laughs> these roads have like a little lip on them that always kicks you up if you're not careful so I'm gonna put the tractor away and I think we will call it a day.
Yeah. <laughs> so, guys, Good thank too. you very much again for watching me yeah. and Thomas. Um, please don't forget to like our videos. Um, give us a thumbs up, please, on YouTube. That's, that's awesome. Um, kind of lets but, more people know that our know, videos but, are out there. But, you know, but this like thing, I, I'm just, every day I'm just thinking, oh, how many like it? And, oh, and it's like a drug. <laughs> oh. You like to go and look at look at your likes yeah. and make sure nobody yeah. nobody uh, dislikes. Yeah, somebody was like disliking our video. I was like, you know, what's there to dislike? Um, so if if somebody if you genuinely don't like it, let us know why um, in the comment section because we want to. You know, if we're doing something wrong, then uh, we want to fix it and um, you know make you happy. So so yeah, just let us know. Or if you're too, you know, if you if you don't want to. If you don't want to post it publicly and you want to, um, you know, con you know, send me an email, send me a private message or something on YouTube, and let me know what we should change. Yeah. Because I can't really think of much. We're just uh, having fun playing farming sim. Yeah. So thanks, guys, and thank you, Brad. We'll see you later. Thank you very Bye. much. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye, guys. Bye.